There's a few theories out there. So I thought I would try and find out why the Hindenburg explosion happened. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Okay. It right. wasn't just someone like lighting up a cigarette lighter or something and ignited what? the hydrogen? Ignited the hydrogen just with a cigarette lighter. Yeah. Now, hydrogen you think of as being quite highly flammable. Yeah. yeah? Well, I want to show you something. Here I've got a little rig, right? And we've got two valves and two pipes. And here we've got a hydrogen cylinder in the red, mm -hmm. and then the lighter colour one is oxygen. And then we can attach the other ends just on these parts here. To test Greg's cigarette lighter idea, I'm setting up a rig to simulate the conditions on the Hindenburg. Let's put safety specs on, actually. There you go. Thank you. So, I'm going to fill this balloon with hydrogen. But, you see that thing there? Yeah. That is a... Oh, it's a little piezo, is it? It certainly is. So, I've got my little spark there, and what I'm going to do is pop the balloon over the top, just like this. But then I'm going to put my high-tech seal on, which is just an elastic band, and keep it nice and sealed. And I'm just going to half fill the balloon with hydrogen. Okay. Yep. Right. To about that size. So just hydrogen in there. Mm -hmm. So if someone with a cigarette came along, it would just be like that spark that's in there. Pop your ear defenders on. These are proper chunky ones. They're brilliant, aren't like they? These. They're yeah. aircraft ones, which I thought was appropriate for the Hindenburg. So I've got my little lighter here. So in three, two, one. It's good, isn't it? It didn't go bad. It's so counterintuitive. You know, hydrogen <coughs> is a flammable gas, but it's not flaming. Yeah. It's not doing a thing. And that's because basically pure hydrogen, really difficult to actually get ignition with. And it's only by it mixing with air that you can get it to get a fireball. Okay, I've, never, I've never seen that. It's good, That's isn't a really it? lovely way to show that. Do you want to go a bit bigger? Air yeah. contains oxygen. If I add that to the hydrogen, it should be a different story. This is dangerous. Don't try it. So you want it sort of double the size that it was. Okay. Bit bigger. And you can stop there, please. Okay. Now, pop your ear defenders on for this. You step back. Bring yeah? on the bangs. <laughs> and in three, two, so. one. Oh! I love, I love <laughs> it when you feel it in your chest. And you're just like, oosh. Like Whoa. It does funny things to your insides, doesn't it? Oh, I wasn't supposed to be that big. <laughs> Mix hydrogen with oxygen and you've got one highly volatile cocktail. But on the Hindenburg, the hydrogen was separated into little sections. But between the sections, there were other sort of gangways that were filled with air. Okay. So, you know, it's sort of thinking about could it, it have leaked in to the hydrogen and then you've got the air and hydrogen mix, which is potentially explosive, as you saw. But the thing is where that spark would come from to actually start the explosion off. Mm. Could it have been if the maintenance guys were walking on the gangways and caused a spark, like, through like stat a static spark, could that have set it off? Yes. Static electricity. Do you know like when sometimes you go to open your car door and you get that little shock from the car door handle? Yes. I am thinking that that was probably the cause of it. 